Dear Lord, today is the day we have all been preparing for. Our hearts are filled with great happiness as the big day is finally here. We pray that as Shan and John prepare for the wedding day, please place your hand upon them and as they get ready to enter a new chapter of their lives, not only will their love for each other grow stronger, but they will become more and more aware of your great love for them. God, I ask you to bless this marriage, bless the bride and the groom, and bless the two families that will today become one. I know today will be a fantastic day, and all the planning, late nights, arguments, tears, will all be worth it. Shan, your beloved Nanu is looking down smiling. He will be with you as you take every step down the aisle today. May your heart not be filled with sadness, but instead with joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, wow. Follow Christ by loving as he loved you, giving himself up in our place. Give way to one another in obedience to Christ. Wives should regard their husbands as they regard the Lord, since Christ is head of the church and saves the whole body. So is a husband the head of his wife. And as the church submits to Christ, so should wives to their husbands in everything. Husbands should love their wives as Christ loved the church and sacrificed himself for her to make her holy. He made her clean by washing her in water with a form of words so that when he took her to himself she would be glorious with no speck or wrinkle or anything like that but holy and faultless. In the same way husbands must love their wives as they love their own bodies. For this reason a man must leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two will become one body. This mystery has many implications. So I'm saying it applies to Christ and the church. Each one of you must love his wife as he loves himself, and let every wife respect her husband. This is the word of the Lord.
I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. Of a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Chantal, say these words after me, looking into his eyes and tell him. John. John. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Another applause, please. When I say I love you more, I don't mean I love you more than you love me. I mean I love you more than the bad days ahead of us. I love you more than any fight we will ever have. I love you more than Mickey loves Minnie. <laughs> I love you more than I am capable of showing you. I have to say I do have some doubts when you squeeze my swats. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> now I'm really debating these next two, but I love you more than Chelsea Football Club. <laughs> <laughs> this one's really hard. I love you more than my lemon pepper chicken wings. Oh no! <laughs> I love you more than any obstacle that will try to get in our way. I don't just say I love you or I love you more for the sake of it. I say it because you are the person I've chosen to love, to protect, to always be there for, forever and always. It's us against the world. I love you Chantal. I love you.